Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great honor, a pleasure and a privilege to give greetings to the fourth anniversary of the Center for Innovation in Public Systems in Hyderabad. This is a very auspicious day because it gives a history of the good work of the TIPS and it positions yourself nicely to look into the future and what you can still do. I have been always very impressed with the good work that TIPS has been doing with its very able young team and under the distinguished leadership of Director Chakrapani and cooperation for me personally as well as for all of us here at the Ragnar Nurse School of Innovation and Governance in Tallinn, Estonia has always been sheer joy. I think that at a time like today to think about public sector reform and public administration reform and public management reform has been more important and will be more important than ever before. Our lives are continuously changing. Technology is the paradigm that does change the life of all of us. And if people and the living together of people changes, then the public administration, the implementation of public policy and governance in general need to change with it. And public sector innovation has become very much the label under which public management reform generally, but in a focused way, is conducted today. This is what SIPS is doing in an excellent project-based and case-based way. I am very impressed with its close association with the Indian civil service and the public sector on all levels and especially with its attention to the different states and their special circumstances and to the training on all levels from the very very top of the Indian public and even private sector to education on the high school level because with this kind of discourse you can indeed not start early enough. It is particularly important to have an institution like the TIPS because not only does the life change but also public management and its fashions change not every day but almost every year or at least every half decade. Look at the great fashion of the new public management that went down under five to ten years ago and it is very important to also stay with the discussion um, to understand where the moving target of an optimal public management is going to and how to position India on its different levels in this context. I think that the CIPS is uniquely qualified to do so both by resources, by outlook, by dynamics and by international partnerships. As it was always a pleasure to cooperate with you, I am sure it will so in the future and I am very much looking forward to many successful years both of cooperation and of the work of the CIPS as such. Thank you very much and once again best greetings and wishes from Estonia. It was over two years ago that we first came in touch with SIPS. This started off with an exploratory phone call from Mr. Chakrapani IAS who had just heard about us at that point of time. He wanted to know if Arvind could assist SIPS in their journey towards accelerating innovations in public systems. Uh, Arvind's ecosystem is very different uh, from that of a government where the government eye hospitals are part of a much larger uh, healthcare system of the government and governed by the broader rules and policies. This was the reason for our uh, hesitation. Mr. Chakrapani, however, proceeded to visit us. We did 
agree with a lot of uh, hesitation to collaborate. Uh, looking back, this probably was one of the better decisions uh, that we made as an organization. And very quickly, the SIPS missionary swung into action. Uh, a date was set for the workshop, and this was in June 2012. Uh, the workshop was uh, attended by participants from literally uh, every state in the country. Uh, with government doctors and uh, managers coming from uh, teaching hospitals as well as the uh, blindness control programs. The workshop itself was uh, headed and inaugurated by uh, Mr. Desi Raju, who was then the uh, health secretary uh, at the Union Government of India. Despite our anxiety, it became abundantly clear during the two days uh, of the relevance of this workshop. The doctors and other officials who were there were able to identify a number of uh, improvements that they could bring about in their own workplaces, all within their own power. There have been a number of follow-up activities to this workshop. Uh, there were deliberations at the national level in looking at this transformation uh, from a uh, from a national perspective, both in the realm of uh, medical education as well as in the care delivery process. We had a meeting in, in Chhattisgarh, uh, again attended by many people, to see how this can be implemented or brought about uh, at the state level. In, in all this, we have come to deeply appreciate the role played by SIPS in making all this happen as an autonomous uh, government organization, they, they have become an extremely uh, effective uh, instrument of change. And then one can quickly recognize that behind any effective organization is an effective leader and a very vibrant and engaged uh, leadership and we have this in the form of Mr. Chakrapani. Uh, good morning to all of you who are watching this uh, video. My name is Dr. Sunil Chandi. I am the director of Christian Medical College uh, Velo. I am here to uh, talk to you about this very warm collaboration that we've had with the uh, Center of Innovation and Public Systems headed by Mr. Chakrapani. Uh, considering that the large mass of Indian population lives in villages and in semi-urban areas, uh, the main problem I feel that plagues healthcare in our country is the deficiency in the public health care system. It needs to be much more robust and although it's a state subject, there must be a state center collaboration and of course uh, innovative strategies which SIPs can uh, identify and describe in making it all the more robust. And I'm glad that through the interactions that we've had with SIPS, uh, this paradigm of uh, healthcare education has been understood and Mr. Chakrapani has been uh, on a war footing to take this model. We've already interacted with five other medical colleges and have also met in central fora to discuss this model and see whether this can be made realistic in the country. My name is Dr. Anand Zekre. I'm professor of medicine from Christian Medical College. Uh, I got to know uh, the Center for Innovation and Public Systems uh, through an invitation by Mr. Chakrapani to a Mysore review meeting where I had opportunity to speak about the CMC experience of linking medical education with primary and secondary level. Following this meeting, Mr. Chakrapani came to Velour and spent two days to study uh, the the model at CMC Velo early 2012, Mr. Chakrapani along with CMC had organized this meeting attended by functionaries of health and medical education from 14 states. Uh, all, all the administrators spent uh, three to four days at CMC to learn about CMC. SIPS disseminated this recommendation to different levels of the center and state government 
as well as to all the medical colleges in this country and they received interest from uh, uh, a few states. The Central Ministry uh, of Health uh, and the Department of Administrative Reform organized uh, a consultation with specific health secretaries from five states uh, who identified medical colleges in each of their states to implement a pilot project and we request SIPS as it has in beginning and initiating the project their continued support to make sure that medical education and healthcare delivery in our country improves and each citizen of the country has opportunity to good health care. Thank you. On SIPS, Center for Innovations in Public Systems, SIPS, has been doing a great service for the innovators and large sections of society who are the ultimate beneficiaries of such innovations ever since its inception in 2010. SIPS has been functioning in a bridge and a catalyst for the benefits of the innovation, innovators and academia on the one hand and the welfare of the society and development of the country on the other hand. Scope, which has been specializing in the field of sustainable sanitation, is fully aware of the role played by SIPS during the past two years in making the environment more livable. It was only due to the occasion of SCO with the SIPS that it got an opportunity to participate in a workshop for IAS officials at IAS Academy, Missouri, in the subject of ecological sanitation, UDD. As everyone knows, it is the primary duty of the district administrators, headed by IAS officials, to eradicate open defecation in the country like India, where even now 60% of the people do not have access to toilets. Similarly, SCOPE had an opportunity to learn about many new innovations like biodigester for the disposal of human excreta promoted by uh, DRDO and the IT at School of Kerala and the Kerala Land Bank innovations which as a revolutionary step in the field of revenue administration in the country. It has popularized e-governance which will take the fruits of IT tools to the common man for transparent and very quick transaction of activities connected with the government. The innovative practices of solid waste management adopted by the various state governments like Kerala, Maharashtra, etc. and the brought to the limelight by SIPS has been of great service to scope. The field visits arranged along with workshops in various parts of the country has enabled the participants, including SCOPE, to know the best practices adopted by various ULBs, NGOs and government organizations. It, uh, it was due to the exposure of ECOSAN UDDT provided by SIPS that a team from Indian Railway from Lucknow have planned to visit Trichy on May 21st, 2014 convey my hearty congratulations and many happy returns of the occasions of the 4th Foundation's Day of Seeds on 14th, uh, 2014. Uh, thank you. Hi, I am Dr. Sanjit uh, of the Kerala State Civil Service Executive 2006 batch. I have been associated with SIPS for since 2012. Uh, during the period, they have conducted many memorable programs uh, across India. And I remember a program which they conducted for the Northeastern states. That is one of the best programs I have ever attended in my, my life. Uh, for any organization to perform, uh, there should be continuous support and encouragement from uh, Government of India. I hope Government of India will continue, continue their support and enhance support to SIPS in the years to come. Uh, uh, SIPS 
is one of the few organizations in government of India which recognizes the real skill and talent behind the successful programs, especially the innovative programs. Uh, under the able leadership of Sri Chakrapani sir, I hope uh, SIFS will continue to do their good work in future. I wish SIFS all the very best, very best in future. Thank you. Hello everyone. E Jalakam is a social outreach program initiated by the undergraduate students, Department of Economics of St. Teresa's College. It aims at taking e-governance to the masses, particularly women. In response to people's demand, we designed a citizen handbook on e-governance services named Vivaranithi. Vivaranithi literally handholds the public in accessing various e-governance services by detailing the various steps that people have to follow while accessing services. Seeing a write-up about our project in Indian Express, Chakrapani sir from SIPS and Dr. Amita Prasad from ATI Mysore invited us to make a presentation of our project at a seminar they organized in Bidar. It was there that we realized ours was also a very small innovation. SIPS also gave us the opportunity to present our project at Hyderabad and at Haryana Institute of Public Administration. In response to such exposure, Villamari Education Society from Hyderabad and Christ University from Bangalore have expressed their formal desire to produce similar handbooks for both Andhra Pradesh and Karnataka. Odisha, Bihar and Haryana are also considering replication of this handbook. When Matt told us about the invite from SIPS, we were really surprised that such IAS officers had taken interest in a student project like ours. We were really happy that our initiative is being replicated in other parts of India due to the exposure given to us. We thank the entire team of SIPS for the encouragement and the support and we'd like to wish them all the very best for their foundation day. Thank you. Respected Sri Chakrapani sir, members of the SIPS family and invitees. I am Dr. Arul Muni Rangarajan, an obstetrician gynecologist practicing in Bangalore. I am privileged to have been an invited faculty at the workshops organized by the Center for Innovation in Public Services and the Administrative Training Institute, Mysore. At the outset, I convey my hearty congratulations and best wishes on the occasion of your Founders Day. I have been associated with this dynamic organization for about two years now. I have participated in three workshops, one each in Darwad, Bidar and Haryana and I am delighted to say that in these three workshops that I have attended, I have seen the keen commitment of the team, their attention to details, their quick communication and coordination and, and most importantly approachability at all times. You are blessed with a wonderful team sir. A word about the workshops themselves. These workshops are unique platforms for putting forth innovative ideas and practices that have the potential to bring on a sea change in the lives of the people of our country. The fresh thoughts get expressed in the workshops and these are not forgotten at the end of the workshop. The discussion continues till the idea crystallizes into a worthwhile proposal and the center SIPS is doing commendable work to sift out workable pragmatic practices and feed these to the government for implementation to improve public services, particularly in the health and administrative sectors. Their list of innovations speaks for itself. SIPS's contribution to the country's growth and prosperity is perhaps not immediately visible or palpable, but certainly it is immeasurable. I wish them well in their endeavors and pray that their efforts will transform public services in the country. Thank you, sir, for giving me a presence on this happy occasion. It is a pleasant occasion to share my views on CIPS through this video on the occasion of its Folk Foundation Day. With 35 years of 
experience at the grassroots level, I began to feel that there is a definite need of an organization like CIPS. This center has a focus concern to bring out the innovative practices in various fields, particularly health, education and e-governance. Specifically, its attempts to bring this knowledge to the attention of various state governments in India is very laudable. By conducting various workshops in different state capitals all over India, this center has made this knowledge available to the various governments. Its thorough efforts in documenting the innovative approaches and creating websites so that they are all available to interested groups should be appreciated by one and all. On this occasion, we thank CIPS and its director, Mr. D. Chakrapani, in their efforts to bring out to the attention of various state governments the innovative approach on preschool education developed by Sothana Charitable Trust. It was, I wish, a great success to CIPS under the leadership of D. Chakrapani on its fourth foundation day. I am A.K. Somasekhar, working as technical director in MIC Chhattisgarh. I am fortunate to be associated with SIPS for more than a year and participated in a half a dozen programs conducted by SIPS across the country. I am impressed with the way SIPS plans, designs and organizes the programs. I participate in the programs as a resource person, but the programs have proved to be great learning experience for me also. It is true that there are various good practices in the different places of the country, but it is unfortunate that the good practices are readily replicated or appreciated at other places. For the last four years, SIPS has been doing a great job of churning the knowledge pockets in the country. It is helping for not only spreading the knowledge of the good practice to other parts of the country, but also helping for improving the good practices. I take the opportunity to congratulate Sri D. Chakrapani and his team for this successful journey and I wish them all the best for, for the future endeavors. I have been associated with the Center of Innovations and Public Systems almost since its inception and have thus followed its growth and contribution very closely. I have participated in several of their programs as well. The Indian healthcare and other developmental sectors are agog with examples as to how several of them have had their origins in the voluntary or NGO sector and the governments have upscaled them either state or nationwide. During the past three years, the SIPS has made an indelible mark which is, which is visible and felt throughout the country, north to south, east to west. There is literally no state in the country where SIPS has not touched through its programs. It has made and is still making untiring efforts to unearth innovations in various fields such as education, health, e and urban governance. So far, more than 300 such innovations in developmental activities have been identified and several of them have been documented. The center has identified not only the innovative projects that have touched the lives of the common man, but also identified individuals and groups, several of them not so well known nationally and prepared a nationwide registry of resource persons. Sri Chakrapani Garu, the director of SIPS, through his tireless liaison, coordinating and communicating skills and painstaking travels has carved a niche for himself and the organization. In the three years of his tenure so far, he has propagated the activities worldwide. Several countries in South and Southeast Asia have since started working in the area of innovations in their own countries and several programs highlighted by SIPS are being copied elsewhere. Thus. SIPS has become a role model. I am sure under his guidance, leadership and commitment, SIPS 
will achieve greater heights in time to come.